Well, first of all, look at why it is that user experience has become so important now. Now, anybody who's been around the usability or the human computer interaction area will be aware that user experience has become perhaps the major buzzword when employing anybody. So in, in the past, you might have got a job in interaction design or as a usability engineer. Now what you'll, you'll see more than anything is that people ask for user experience specialist. Now, very often what they mean by that is exactly the same. Um, they, they want you to include the same thing. So in the past, if you're designing interactions, you'd think about user experience. If you're asked to design your user experience, you think about usability. But the fact that the name has become dominant tells you something about a change in emphasis. And so whereas it perhaps used to be a minor aspect of the role of, of designing inter interfaces and designing interactions, now it's become perhaps one of the major roles. Experience clearly matters. Um, whether it's iPhones or Facebook, uh, it's now why people often go to a computer system. They want they want you to uh, it to make them feel things. They want they want it to be part of uh, excitement or interest or basically emotion in general. It be, you might be talking to a loved one over a video channel or you might be um, uh, playing a game in Facebook. These are clearly very, very critical. Um, if you think about the, the phone as an example, if you went back, um, I was trying to think, 20 years. Now, even this, and I've got my house phone here, which is a pretty big phone. That would have been little. The phones, the first mobile phones were like bricks. It was almost like holding a book to your ear. Now it's the iPhone. It's not, the first mobile phones are about communication, wanting to be connected with people. And actually, if you see satellite phones today, they're still pretty much like that, chunky things. Whereas the iPhone is very much about being an iPhone user, about the sleekness of it, about the design of it. Um, interestingly enough, even those early phones, there was a strong um, set of emotional values attached to them. People would have fake phones. Uh, because they couldn't afford a real phone, a real, this is fake mobile phones. So you have a fake mobile phone, so you could sort of pull it out on your, on, on the train and having sitting there and people would think, oh my goodness, there's an important person having a mobile phone. So actually, even those early phones, the actual phone, the real phone, was about utility. However, those fake phones were about the fact that a phone says something about who you are. And boy, is that true of phones nowadays. Um, Emotion is part of being human. It's not just part of our technological experience of being human, it's part of being human. Without emotion, in many ways, we don't exist fully. Um, and that, that's sort of evident when things go wrong and people have uh, accidents or illnesses which damage their emotional being. However, this isn't a new thing. You know, emotion's always been important. This isn't something that's happened in the last five to 10 years. Um, in fact, within the user interface community, there's um, one of the early standards that mentioned usability was ISO 9241. And it talked about three crucial issues for user interfaces. One of them was effectiveness. Does it do the right thing? Does it get things done that are important? The second was efficiency. Does it do that with the minimum effort, the minimum mental effort, the minimum physical effort? Um, or is it taking extraneous effort that's unnecessary? And, and very often people only quote those two because there was a third one as well, which was satisfaction. Does it make you feel good? Do you feel happy having used this system or used this piece of software? And so that last one is often missed entirely. Um, and that's all about the emotion, the way you feel. I said often ignored, often missed in the past. What's now happened is that's become perhaps in some ways more important than the other two. Emotion's important because it's good to feel emotion. But also, emotion affects the bottom line in business. Um, if your employees are happy, they tend to be more productive. 
So if you're if you're designing a, a production line or an office or wherever the environment, if you can have software and systems that make people feel good, they'll tend to work better. And certainly you want your customers to feel happy um, because they're, they're the people who are usually going to buy your goods. So if you've not made your customers happy, they don't buy anything. So emotion's important to us as humans, but it's also important from a business point of view.